Making remote interviews easy. I know COVID has changed many things. To say the least, it's changed the interviewing process for the past 18 months. And I think it's here to stay in some form for a little while longer. So what's changed? Four years ago, when I started my mock interview process with my coaches, I would meet them in a cafe. I would help them with body language, tonality, facial expressions, the structure, the content, and even down to shaking someone's hand. For the past 18 months, I've had to adjust my coaching along the way and now figured out some proven hacks for online interviews. How do I know this? 100% of my successful coaches in the last 18 months have succeeded with remote interview processes. And I'm going to share three tips with you as we are still mainly doing them online. Number one, look at the camera. I know you want to have two screens going, have your notes on one to refer to, but it's impersonal not to look at the screen. Now we have also got digital distractions with the phone, another screen, email pop-ups. So turn off all your notifications, don't have dual display and just focus on one screen. Also, don't look down. I know you want to look at the interviewer who's usually in the middle of the screen. So look up and put their face near the camera. Number two, treat the interview like a physical one. That is to dress formally and take time out before the interview to regroup. Before we would have to travel to the interview, so that gave us time to think and break from our job. Now we allow ourselves to create back to back because we can. I had a coachee who once had a terrible meeting with her boss before the interview where she got slammed. Then she ran straight into that interview with no break. She carried that negative energy into the interview and she didn't do so well. Also, check that you are presented for the interview. Once again, we are so comfortable working from home. My suggestion is to overdress as people will forgive you, but if you are scrubby, then that's not so great. My final tip here is, have you heard of Michael Jordan? I bet you have. Well, his coach, Phil Jackson, taught him about pre-game visualization. Jordan discovered how to visualize what might happen in challenging situations. He had already experienced situations in his mind, so he was calm. And he can also see himself making the game-winning shot well before he stepped onto the basketball court. Once he understood this power, he became a master of the game basketball. Why can't you adopt this winning formula? Give yourself 15 minutes before you step into that virtual interview and visualize yourself. This can help anticipate what might come up, boost your confidence and dispel any nervousness or lack of self-belief. Want to make remote interviews easy? I have many more secret hacks to turn the remote environment to your advantage. I share them all with my coaches. If you haven't been successful and want to change your destiny, then reach out. I'll be more than happy to help. See you in my next video.